Hello everyone, this is your Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our co-op campaign with Mr. Smart Donkey. Hello. And I believe it's your turn. It and, sure uh, is. I'm about to get attacked. <laughs> yeah, Liave is sailing on his way. We just also uh, realized that I'll be controlling that army when they do fight, which is going to be exciting. Correct. It's going to be our first yeah. like proper battle. We had one very tiny battle at some point at the start with some rebels, but that was just like for funsies more than anything. Also, when we loaded up the campaign just now, obviously we had to end the turn again, I got a Discourses of the State for Tata, which I don't think I got last time when we ended the episode. So that's new. Pretty good ancillary. I'm not sure if I'm going to give it up to him right away. I'm not sure what he has right now. Oh, right. He's got the Jade Horseman uh, with Shadowrunner. It gives me the uh, 30 charge bonus thing. So yeah, he's not going to get it someone else. I think it's going to be my heir then, which is my... Who's it with my wife? Yeah, Lady Beyond. She has currently got a clay cup. Well, we can definitely do better than that. Discourse of the State. Which has a martial law bonus with Law Enforcer, but I don't own that. Oh, that bonus is terrible anyway, so who cares? Right, I do actually want to have a look at all my items, because I feel like with this war coming up, I need to make sure I'm properly, properly decked out with as many good items as possible. So if I'm missing anything, that is... An easy giveaway. Like, we got plus six here. I could get plus eight. Oh, yeah, right. I've got that celestial sphere. Now, that's a nice item to give away to someone. Who's going to get it, though? Uh, it's not going to be you. Man, I have quite a few good items. I think I'm, I'm probably am going to recruit another army, so I should probably just look at once I've recruited that next army who's going to get what. Oh, yeah, you can get a clay fish, I guess. Or should I give you something else? Um, cunning is not super useful. I mean, it's going to give me more military supplies and ammunition, but ammunition doesn't matter if we don't have any ammo. Um, I guess there's also Goja. Goja's got that honor manifested bow, so he doesn't need that either. Hmm. No, I think I'm good. I'm gonna look when I've got my new army coming in and see what they need then. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, cool. So, speaking of another army, where are we gonna put it? I think. Um, I need to start considering what I wanna do. Like, if I wanna hang out on your border as well, or if I'm just <laughs> gonna hang back and make let you do the first step like move as in like even though i'm the one declaring war let you get well, your I'm, first attacks I, off well, i'm running everyone back to defend against the way yeah so. that's yeah that's happening first either way yeah um, i mean there's only a couple of seasons left two seasons yes before you start attacking yes god i just yeah not having any vision i should recruit a spy in your faction um <laughs> They're all sitting in loyal. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you a quick well, summary. See, see, that's the thing. Are they though, or are you just saying that? I mean, I assume mm, you are too. Speaking the truth, they are. <laughs> it's a lot of flags over loyal. All right. Um, let's recruit another army. Right, I need to consider who I'm actually going to put in this army. I think Joshu is my only other unique strategist. I think Ma Chao is going to have to be one of the big boys. I've also got Dian Wei. Man, I've got so many characters that I haven't used yet. So I've got Yujin and Yujin. Um, mm -hmm. I to, yeah, I, need to, I think those are the main mm -hmm. ones, or Dian Wei. One, one of the weapons on the field, so it's like they're represented. What was that? One of their weapons. It's on Zhang Nao, so they're sort of represented in the uh, field. That's, that's fair, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, I took that off one of those, I guess, yeah. I should have. Okay, well, let's have a look at them. So... Uh, Yujin has Temper Deflection, eh, Tenacity of Steel. I mean, I guess you do have a lot of ranged, but even then. Um, Alright, so he's got Brave, Vigilant, Melee Evasion for the entire retinue. That's not bad. Okay, this guy's alright. Then we have Yujin. Where are you at? Am I blind? There he is. He has... Tenacity of Steel is going to unlock later. He's got Tempered to Fly. He's got the, literally the same thing. But he's in a different side of the tree. He's got Dutiful, Reckless, Determined. And I think this guy is probably the worst one of the two. I think 
Eugen is better. But then there's also, of course, Dian Wei, who is another one I could consider as well. He has got reach and flexibility, so I've got that sorted. Uh, Ma Chao has that as well, though. I think Ma Chao is definitely the one I'd use for my cavalry commander. The other option would be Xiao Hu Yuan or Lady Bian, but not super excited about Lady Bian. So, yeah, <laughs> I think Ma Chao makes the most sense. Although he has got that, he's maimed, which makes him a little bit worse, but probably okay. Yeah, alright, so it's gonna be Ma Chao as my cav commander. So then I don't need Dian Wei, so I think. Last Yanwei's ability. Oh, he's got Unyielding Earth. Oh, that's so good. Kind of want him. I would ask you for advice, but I mean, this is like, who should I kill you with? What do you reckon? Hmm. hmm. Tough question. Tough yeah. call. All right. Let's let's uh, let's use him. All right, Macho. Pop him in. Let's see who they like, actually, I guess we can make our decisions based on that as well. So, you are a fan of Yujin, but he's not really in consideration. Okay, you both, you don't, he dislikes both Yujin and Dianwei, so that doesn't really matter. Um, he's actually an administrator, so he gets some stuff. Alright, let's, I'm still going to use him, I think. Yeah, I have to. I want Jianwei, but Jianwei having those bonuses means I can use another army with extra movement and flexibility, which I think is more important. And then it's going to be Jashu or Tao Juanshu, that random lady I hired about 20 years ago. Uh, let's have a look at her. Jashu is more exciting because he's unique, but... Um, he's got Hidden Strike, he's got Resourcefulness as well. The other lady is completely in the wrong side of the tree, so she's not super exciting either. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll use Jashu. That makes sense. Alright, pop him in here as well. Better relations too. Cool. Now, I have some Chiang Marauders. I seem to remember they have... Yeah, they're re they used to be really good. Are they still good? That they're, they're still really good. Okay. No shield though, so that's a downer, but yeah, I think we'll keep those. And then... Do I take some time? I mean, if you wanted to spend them, <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> hmm. Um, Tiger and Leopard Calf, they cost 70 more than Mounted Lance and Militia, but they are, I think, considerably better. They are a lot slower. No, I'll still take them. I think, yeah, especially with the amount of range you've got, I need to make sure I don't die from getting shot at. Then we'll take a couple of Qingzhu Spears. You're gonna get a full retinue of Jian Sword Guards. Oops, didn't mean to cancel that. Um, yep. Oh, and then, oh, I should have used that minus 5% recruitment cost. I'm an idiot. You're gonna get two trebuchets, as we do, and a ton of good old crossbows. All right, cool. Um, then I also should make you the commander and then you the commander again in case we get ambushed. Okay, cool. So that's a fourth army out there. It makes me feel a little bit more secure. My income is now dreadful though, so that's definitely, I can't really do much more. I could possibly recruit another retinue, but not a whole lot more. Or am I just lying to you and can I recruit another six armies? <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> of that size? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Crap, he's on to me, boys. Uh, all right, cool. So I think a couple buildings I want to spend some money on. Nothing too much. Mostly defensive buildings at this point. Uh, where is this place? That's too far south to care. That is as well. Um, I have no defenses here in this place. Let's upgrade this town. That's probably not a bad idea. Did you miss one of the tributaries by any chance? I accidentally cancel it? Uh, oh yeah, I did. What the hell? Oh man, my income's gonna be even lower. And it's in the wrong place now. Oh god. Oh, it's gonna <laughs> disgust me. Wait. Okay, I can fix this. <laughs> you know, really. It's gonna be co it's gonna cost me more, but my OCDs will, will never let me down if I don't do it like that. Mm. Okay. Right, cool. Um, cost me like an extra 300 bucks for recruiting one more unit than, than I had to, basically. Mm. All right, cool. 
Uh, oh, and I can upgrade this weaponsmith. Yeah, let's do that too. Why not? Cool. Now, I need diplomacy. This is definitely the time to sell some food. If I can. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Leo Bay is on the table to become my vassal, and he's not even... He's, it's not... He doesn't want the house. It's still too difficult, but he doesn't want the house. I mean, go ahead. Maybe break him off that alliance. Yeah, no, it's... Actually, what, how does offer... Oof. Minus 14. You know, I'm going to beat up his army a little bit, and you can vassalize him. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> I don't really want to actually for, uh, give him... Um, uh, what is it called? The um, You can easily give anyway. him land if you intend to annex him. Yeah, like I, yeah, because I, I don't want to give him uh, autonomy because I, I actually do want... To, if I were to make him a vassal, I mean... Right, because you, you share a border with him. Just give him a couple of pieces of land and then just... Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait. I'll let you beat up his army first. Uh, you mean right. your army? <laughs> Crap. That's oh, actually, yeah. The uh, faction, former faction of Sunsa, needs some food. I'm assuming they're incredibly poor. Oh, they're not too bad, actually. How much food do you need? I mean, there's not enough people in their faction for them to be poor. That's true, I guess. Yeah, All right, they're not going to give me a ton of money. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Five hundred twenty-five. 528 29 30 Alright, 29 529 for 12 food That's good Any ancillaries? No Take the money Alright, that's a decent deal Then Anyone else? Kong Rong Ah, yes I used to have a good food deal with you I think that's my, actually possibly why my income is so low as well You want 14 food and I will take. Whoa, oh, that is a lot of money he's got. Oh my goodness. This man is crazy. You know what? I'm going to sell you some ancillaries that I'm never going to use. Um, I have loads of weapons that I probably won't use for a while. Oh, that's a good point. I just need to give out weapons to that new army I recruited. Here's some armor. Because I have too many legendary characters. Alright, more money, please. Money, please! 920. Oof, that was close. 918. 919. 919. Perfect. Alright. Good deal. I think that's enough food deals for now. So, just gotta give out the items. And then I'm good to go. You can get that. And then we have for you... A stone archer? Is that really the best I can do? Um, let's give out the other ones first. So you can have... Oh, there's a stone pig. Nice. We'll steal that from Jiashu then. Remove from Jiashu. And then equip that thing. Perfect. Then Jiashu is going to take the Jade Sickle. Oh, Sickle! Uh, I actually am going to give him a military jam just because he's got that hidden strike ability. Might actually, he could do with a better weapon. And then you, Eugene, can use, I think the twin Marshal G are pretty sweet. So you got those, you got your special armor, and I think you're going to get this Celestial Sphere of Doom. Okay, cool. I think that's... Oh, I guess you can have that plus two resolve, why not? So, steal this from... No, not from that. Wait, which? This one. Alright. I'm finally done. <laughs> me many, many moons, but... You can also play this game. Alright. Time to fight Liu Bei. My god. Why? Why is he doing this? Hmm. It's actually... Like, besides the fact that it's just convenient for me because you're busy dealing with his army, it's also convenient because I'm going to have a, a battle where I get to see your tactics and how strong your men are, etc. without risking my own men. True, true, true. 
just information in general. <sighs> okay, let's see. I don't know where he's going to land. That's the big problem. <laughs> what if he just sails past and go for Gongdu or something? Right, right. That's that's the problem. So I prefer if he does land. Do you know if the AI unlocks their um, titles by actually doing the things required, or if they just... I don't think they do that. Yeah, I didn't think so. So I was just looking at Zhang Fei, who has the General of Chariots and Cavalry, which means you'd have to win 10 battles with 6 un uh, Cavalry units in his retinue, which, first of all, he has only infantry, and I very much doubt he's even fought 10 battles, so it seems <laughs> unlikely. quietness i have no idea what's going on anymore oh i'm just setting up all my armies to get ready for a little bit <laughs> just trying to find out where to move them there's all the, there's also the maximum of only four armies per battle right 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 yeah well, I, just but I don't know where back. he's gonna land so i'm just gonna spread things out and let them let him pick which which four <laughs> army he really wants to fight it'll be it'll be a free-for-all Hmm, what do I want to do with them? Maybe I do want to grab a few more generals. I can always fire them. It's good that I only need to spend lineage to grab characters. Yeah, and then if you deploy them you get like 10 lineage from that, don't you? Yeah, so you basically get the refund back. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, if I do need generals, they don't actually cost me money, so that's that's nice. Alright, so I can technically use them for assignments. All right, so that's that. And let's see. Can you find a friend? We actually have one more turn than I thought we did for some reason. I totally forgot about harvest in between autumn and winter. Yeah, there's just two more turns there yeah. after this, so yeah, you're fine. So it's gonna, it's probably gonna be like right at the beginning of next episode. Unless, well, yeah, it depends on how long this battle. Yeah, yeah like, I think it's not gonna. We're, we're not gonna go to war this episode. If no, no, this episode, lands, no. If no bait lands, it's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be a mess. I 
woke up in cold sweat this morning thinking about this coming war. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'll I'll just save Sun Chu and let him do a assassinate leader so that he can become leader. Avenge for the Sun clan. <laughs> Wait, who, are you, who are you gonna? Oh, Sun Chuan. Yeah, he's still there. Right, because I have him as a spy, yeah. and I'm trying to figure out if I can. <laughs> but he's not the heir, right? He is there. Oh, he is, he is the heir. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You can bring it. Oh, that's kind of funny. Full so circle. I can restore the sun. <laughs> Do I want to check up? Mm. No, I don't want to speed that up. Okay, all right. I think I'm done. Unless I can pull out some miracle diplomacy move. Ah, the Tang Ko tribe kind of want a piece. I mean, the thing about Gong Sun making this alliance war is I can't even bribe them to end the war. Because mm. it auto goes into the vote. And I mean, as much as Liu Bei is friendly, Gong Sun Dan is like, no. Even if Gong Sun is point 0.1, no, it's like, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's all nice. right, that's really all. Oh, I guess I should pass out the items before the fighting starts, too. Good idea. I do have a bunch of things saved up. Hmm, except for that's not going to help anyone, is it? Who is going to get no base circle first? God, who knows? With this many circles, I don't even know who's going to get the ambush pulled off. <laughs> yeah. That's the main thing I'm worried about. Is like, I don't want to be the first one to get into your territory because I'm guaranteed to run into some ambushes. No, feel free to come. <laughs> you, you, you have night battle, you can just night battle the army. Oh, that's oh true. no, you can't. You can't. I'm on offense if you get ambushed. Okay. So don't yeah don't take that word for it. It's not gonna work out well for you. Um, I'm convinced. Yeah. I'm doing it. Come come yes that's that's the plan. Wow, everyone's happy in my faction. What is this? I'm not even in your faction. I'm happy. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Hmm, character experience or 10% trade influence? Questions, questions. Oh, actually, I should put him here. Xingjiao has a builder, that's okay. Luoyang has a builder, probably don't need it right now. I have so many items that actually doesn't help my characters at all, because they don't have retinues, so like, boosting, cunning doesn't really do anything for them at this point. Mm. But I guess I could boost some instinct that never really hurt. All oh, right, he has he took. Oh, I've sworn his bow. Oh, that is weird seeing it on someone else. <laughs> that healing is fine. Probably want to steal that when we get a chance. No one. Oh, I don't have that many uniques. I guess all of them do have an item already. I'll give it to my brother. The guy finally gets something. There. All right. All the items have been passed out. Back to you. Here we go. Wait. Uh, he went. No oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where did he go? 
He went north. Oh. Wait, did he land like north or did he just sail up? Yeah, north? he landed. He landed. Oh, north. what the? Okay. Uh, military access with the Sun Clan. Um, I've got a load of deals of you. Uh, what else that's can we get? Gonna be a problem. So he's gonna steal my food. What an absolute twit. Alright, I'm getting a little bit more money from the Sun Clan. Action. Not clan. It's not Shogun 2. Alright, can we do 380? 385? Wow. 388? 390? Man, they're surprisingly paying me like an insane amount of money for this. Uh, Alright. 380. Oh. 389 bucks for some military access per turn. Thanks. Good deal. Anyone else want some military access? So I guess I'm going to have to just cede some land over to Liu Bei because I'm not going to cross the river at this point. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. I'll just take it back afterward. Huh. That's very annoying. Is he in Shangdang already? Yep. Okay. He's gonna attack it next turn, most likely. Damn. Uh, okay, some random wars down south. An exquisite weapon. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, an heirloom spear. Your weaponsmith is going to work. Already, yeah. I mean, it literally just finished level 1 this turn, I think. That's cool. I mean, that makes sense, because it's like, starts the roll, and there's a timer to cool down. Oh, right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Still, though, I've got an exceptional weapon. Oh, right, it's always exceptional, and then with a small, ch very small chance of producing a unique. Okay. I think it can be bronze. Oh, okay, well then I got lucky. I, I don't think it's always silver, so good stuff. Good stuff, indeed. I don't think I actually... Need to give it to anyone right now because uh, my child already got Iron Spear too. Board of Fire, that's pretty good. But yeah, he's a unique. Speaking of uniques, I need to recruit some non-uniques for nefarious jobs. Uh, I need to build that building too. Right. Let's see who we got in our court. I don't really care who we hire as long as they're cheap. If they're bringing some unique weapons with them, then so be it. Oh, there's she one G. He must have been one of your family members, I guess. A spy in my court? Actually, no, he was with <laughs> the Han and then with Yan Bai He. I mean, he could still be a spy, I suppose. Um, there's Chen Mao. I, sh oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll recruit this guy. He looks pretty decent, actually. He's a tax collector too. That's uh, income of industry faction wide. I mean, I'm not I'm not hiring these people to keep them around long. In fact, I should <laughs> hire some vanguards. That's even better. Cautious, obstinate, wise, pretty crap. There's also Xiao Ruo who wants to spy for me, so he's definitely not a spy. Yeah, all right, we're hammering this guy for sure. And now I'm out of money. Good. Um. He is fairly happy in my court. That's all good. I'm going to give you a different weapon. Here's a glaive. Enjoy. Alright. Um, actually going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to raise him over here. Luckily, he's got a terrible retinue. Oh, I guess he's got some mercenary archers. That's pretty good. But luckily, I don't have to pay anything for him because my redeployment cost is really good. As in zero. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to go. I see that one general stand there. <laughs> what's, what's he doing at the borders? Explain yourself. Uh, nothing. 
Um, and I need one more. I don't have any other non-uniques except for that lady strategist who actually might see the light update at some point. So I'll need to recruit someone else next turn. Uh, any diplomacy real quick? I'm still on Trustworthy, which isn't helping my cause. Leo Bay is even more likely to become my vassal now, which is interesting. Um, Dong Li still wants me to become a vassal. I actually have quite a few options for coalitions, but I'm not going to do that because we're going to start another alliance, of course, after our war. Seems so weird to talk about it like that. <laughs> Gong Sun Zan, you are in need of food. I am in need of money. We can help each other. Man, he is really low on food. He needs 17 food to make him plus 10. Alright. Have you got any ancillaries? I would love your legendary weapon. Oh, he's actually got a silver glaive. But a war glaive. Don't think I need that. I'd rather have some more money, please. Uh, that's another almost 800 bucks. 790. Oh, that's 890. 790. 7845. 3. 0. Nope. 790. 77. 779. God, just give me your money already. 777. Alright. Sounds good. Soon I'll be <laughs> broke on food, and you'll find some way to reduce my food even further. And I'll just that'll be the help, my I, end. I'm not you. I, I can't know. do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, just some way you'll find. Just demolish my food. Oh, I see Zhu Tai hanging around. Well, you Dobe is gonna try to demolish my food. You see the only army you can see. Yeah. Just the, he's oh. just like on the on the border of what I can see. So ambushing does work. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. What does that mean? Alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello. See, hello. See a stat coming up. Don't mind me. Just hanging out on the border. You know how it be, Border Patrol? You never know with these neighbors nowadays. Can't trust anyone. <laughs> Alright. You bring some siege weapons with border control. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, oh, is that not uh, customary in your land? Or? Mm -hmm. Haven't heard that one. Alright, they can't reach the lumber yard, but they can. Well, Liu Bei went north. There goes why I summoned everyone back for no reason now. But okay. Just gave me the initiative to put my armies on the border. <laughs> Guess I could just summon him new. Wow, he really doesn't work well with people. Hmm, why is Chengong being so difficult? Um, I will say... No, I don't want to like mm -hmm. throw you off or anything. There is another army of Liu Bei in Dong. Yeah, I see it. Oh, okay, so yeah, that could yeah. potentially start sailing down in your way as well. Yeah, I'm well aware that I'm going to get attacked. Okay, <laughs> I just like just <laughs> so you know, there's a second army. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I um definitely didn't bribe them or anything.
Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying that they're right there. <laughs> ambushes ambush discovered yeah, yeah, yeah how did you un you you revealed them yourself i mean they have to walk to the ambush I'm getting notifications for all these ambushes that I've somehow discovered, apparently. Ha! I knew it! Hmm, what do I want here? When do I want? Technically, I want Sun Juan to stop, to, to kill the leader quickly, so I don't have to pay his salary anymore. But that doesn't seem possible. Mm, how rich is Han Sui? Oh, he's willing to do a marriage deal. Wow. See what this value is 2.5. Please, please have some money. Oh, wow, he is pretty poor, I have to say, but I'll take it. It's the sounds of a desperate man. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. A little bit of chump change. We'll just take it. I guess if I have to. Okay, I think that's all I can really do here. Let's go. All right. Oh, <laughs> nobody's attacking. Up. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna let them have it. I don't really see a point of fighting this one. I can't see anything, so it's up to you. Oh. Uh. All I see is a town yeah. where the fires a fire burning. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a farm. Just go ahead. You know. Even if I weaken him, like, there's no army that's going to go there to save it, so... Yeah. He's just free to take all my food. Cool. 207 losses. Oh, there comes the other army. Holy shit, that move, though. That was further than I expected for some reason. And Gong Zidane's army showed up, too. Oh, great. Form a coalition with Dong Li. Um, I'm gonna reject that. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> you trying offering you something? Nope, he's just marching through my land oh, if okay. I can do. My camera's stuck on that town that you just lost, so I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit! What's wrong? I can see Shamuk is stuck. 
Oh, he's yeah, he's marching towards you. Is he? Did he cross the river? <laughs> he's in my. He's in my. He's none. Oh, running. I told you he was coming. Yeah, uh, I my about vassal that. also just declared independence on me. Oh, okay, great. sure. I mean, she was really not. She wasn't even giving me a trade deal, so it wasn't. Ah, uh, fair enough. So basically, the North just rebelled against me. Oh man! And I lost my food source. Well, well at least that's this fine. Faction destroyed Gunks and do. Ah, he got wiped. He got wiped by um, Coron. Wow, by Coron of all people. That's definitely annoying, but at least it makes things a little bit fair in the fact that I've also got someone rampaging through my lands. I don't know if this is exactly fair. Yeah, well, I know, <laughs> slightly more fair than it was, alright? <laughs> let's see if I can piece out of him. I guess that's a good uh, good start. Actually, let's have a look. I think he was a maybe earlier, so I might be able to sign some deal. Uh, he is a maybe. Oh, that's definitely doable. Alright, get, get out of here. Get out of my land. What do you want? Do you want some food? No, he wants no food. Well, I have plenty of ancillaries. What do you say to some clay warriors? And listen here, a war axe. Oh, and a military great axe too. God, that's what a deal. What else do you want? Can you give more than four now? Ancillaries are still no, it's still four max. Too bad. Um. All right, I'm gonna have to give him money or better ancillaries. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give him some better ancillaries then. All right, fine. Here is, um, God, I don't know. Not a military great axe. I never use those things. I don't know. You might think they're really good or something. I have no idea. Mm, just trade them. It's bronze. I mean, if you have silver stuff, why use bronze stuff? Yeah, that too. That's a good point, actually. Um. It's a matched. Well, I quite like matched Gian, I think. There's a military G. Definitely not going to use that. Alright, what are we at? Minus 3.8. Okay. I will give you a little bit of food, I think. Although that's only. Well, one food's going to be 1.1. That's a good start. And then I guess I'm going to have to give you a ton of money. Can I even give you enough money? Uh, let's max out my money and see where we're at. Okay, that's definitely doable. I'd like to keep a thousand bucks if possible. That's not as much money as I thought. About fifteen hundred. Sure. Pay off this man, please, sir. Get yourself away. Um. Yeah, it's not great that I have to do that, but yeah, it's. Oh, yes, we accept. Well Good. Goodbye. Oh my God, Liu Bei is on minus nineteen for becoming my vassal. Is it closer? Uh, yeah, it was minus 30. Okay, it's, it's very doable, minus 19. You just pay him some cash or pay him some items. Some land. Land, right, you just give him one land. Donghai or something, and then... Yeah, let's have a look. So, Donghai is that one. Okay, let's, let's just see how much... But you realize, I am going to fight him. I'm going to take my land back after the war. So, if he's your vassal, after, I'm still going to fight him. After the war, will we be allied? Right, but I would still, that's what I'm saying, right? If you're sheltering him, I would still attack him. Just letting you know. Yeah, but then we'd, we'd go to war as well, right? Right. Okay, that's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I mean, if you vassalize him, then I have to, I can't really touch him. Oh, man. All I have to do is give him one time. Well, okay. What if I. What if you an annex him and give me back the land? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Because right, you want the characters. Yeah. Right, right. I'll right, give right, you the land back. Right. I don't mind. Right. Sure. Go ahead. Vassalize him. I think it's a good opportunity. But I'm just saying that. Would that want stop the land your back. war as well? No. I mean, Gonzo I mean, I don't know. I think, yeah, you would negotiate peace, right? We would mediate peace. <laughs> and then go to war next turn. And then he would be, yeah, he would be at war again, I and guess. He, and he would go to war with us again. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of awkward. But ugh, wait. Do I get like massive minus things if I immediate peace and then next turn declare war on you, or would that not be a problem for me because it's my vassal? No, you get you lose you lose untrustworthy because we just peace. Actually, I don't know. I, I would be peacing out with the obey, wouldn't I? I would be peacing out. With I Liu guess Bay. I could vassalize him next turn instead. You're not going to do anything against him this turn, are you? I can't do anything against. Wait, what? What, 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 what difference would that make? Because I would be I declare war on you, and then oh, so you just I, don't take the mediate. Yeah, and then I don't have to mediate anything. 
Right. Or you can just vassalize him in case the value change and we just don't mediate this turn. Like, just go to war without you actually going to war. Just oh, yeah, fair enough. Earlier. Yeah, we just do one, er right. one turn earlier. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I. So how long is the annexing thing, by the way? Is that 10 or 20 turns? It does, you're still going to lose 20 points no matter what. Yeah, but you like you get, like, it's minus 40, right? And then after 20 turns, it's only minus 20 forever. I think it's after 5 turns. Is it 5? Okay, then I don't want to do any five, money. 5 five, five or 10-ish. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Oh, that. it might be ten, and then it's minus two per turn that you lose from that. I think that's how it works. No, the twenty is flat. Twenty is yeah. always there. Yeah, yeah, but otherwise it's forty. I mean, right? So it's like right. Twenty, twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe it's ten turns after you. Yeah, I think so. So I could do a deal for money for ten turns. Is what I'm thinking. Oh, that's not really gonna work anyway. Have you got any ancillaries? I mean, I guess I'd get your ancillaries, although not if they're not on an actual character. Um. Let's just take some straight up cash. Could do with some money right now. He's actually. Is he at war with anyone else? No, just a hunt. No, it's all your vassals. My vassals? Uh, oh, well, the Han? your former vassals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Han and Han Lian, yeah. And then the Yellow Turtle Rebellion, which I'm at war with too. Alright, cool. So, do this. And then. Right, I have to click mediate piece. I can't even cancel it for some reason. No, but I can refuse. That's, oh, that's well, usually what happens. Yeah, right, right. So I just reject and then we just go to war, I think. Yeah. Oh no, he rejected. I have to mediate piece of your vassal? They signed, okay. Oh, former vassal, sorry, Han Lian. Alright, cool. That's sweet. I mean, if anything, I'll increase my income a little bit. That's. what a turn. Well, all that spying is going to not pay off because I'll just get all the characters through annexing, probably. I mean, I might still, still play it differently. Uh, either way, this will give me some information in your lands, or at least in Shangdang, which is good. But once I annex... No, I'm going to annex them, of course, because I'm going to give you your land back. We, we just agreed on that. That's fair. Okay, cool. Right, I need another random character, which I didn't recruit yet, so I need to do that now. So, who's it going to be? What about you? Relentless, Vengeful, Direct, Sure. Actually, no, I want to have uh, someone with the right traits, which I guess I won't know unless I recruit them. You suck. Liu Dan. I feel like I remember your name. He's pretty good, actually. All right, you're hired. <laughs> We'll recruit him here. Is that where I want to recruit him? No. Put him over here as well. I can't. Why not? Oh, crap. I've got the maximum amount of armies. Well. There you go. That was quick. Yeah. What's your limit? Five. Why are you so low? Wait, can I? What? No, I can't do any administrators. Yeah, it's five. Oh, wow. It is low. That is low, yeah. I am pretty close to Juke, which when I would increase it, but not quite there yet. Uh, that's okay. We'll figure it out. What the? Hello? Why aren't you moving? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, you're going to stay right there. Oh, feels weird. We're actually at war. Like I can, I mean, we're red. <laughs> feels weird, man. Um, which means that now I could actually take, I could run into your ambushes if there were any as well. So I need to be a little bit careful. It'd be an unintentional fight. Um, I got some buildings to build. Yeah, I guess I will spend that cash. Okay. Right. So now, I've got more schemes that are going to be more interesting as well. Got a scheme that'll reduce your morale by twenty, which is completely useless in any army that has which I guess is all of them. Um Unbreakable. unbreakable. So that's something that was an, an initially looked quite good, but isn't anymore. I can get a new reform for free as well now. It's been twenty turns again. Um Probably is worth doing it's uh, I don't know, do I need do I really need all five of my things? Um, let's have a look actually at uh, what kind of reforms I could get. If there's anything that's really good for this war. 
might be worth doing. I never picked this up. Oh, I went for the two percent replenishment, right? Of course. Um, yeah, not really, to be honest. Oh, I can get. Oh, yeah, there's the plus one seasonal de uh, deployment and plus one army there as well. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Actually, yeah, that would allow me to get one more army. So let's actually go for getting the free reform right now. Dominion over the realm. Scheme activated. All right. So I want to get to there. So I need to grab this first. Okay. Cool. So that's that. Up to full credibility again as well, which is nice. Um, don't think I can really do any other dealios. Oh man. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. So I was gonna say Kong Rong's on the list to become a vassal too, but he wants the house. All right, let's leave it there. End this turn. Alrighty, we got a second army sailing down the river. Great. And a second army in the north. Well, the good news is I can probably end up piecing out with Gongsun Zan. Okay, that's good. I would need to offer him a bunch of stuff. Which I can. Got some stuff I don't really like. Wow, he does not need food. I know, he's got it all from me a couple turns ago. Oh. Well, I could alternatively Imperial Decree him. Yeah, I could. That might be the best option right now. I could even make him pay me now. He's not exactly rich. I think he spent quite a bit on armies. I just realized our entire alliance is now dissolved. Right. I mean, aside from Cornwall, our entire enti our entire alliance is at war with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that also yes. All right, I pieced out with one of them at least. Nice. I'll go back to war with them when I can breathe. And let's see, gotta boost ourselves back up. All right. Uh, what to do? What to do? Hello. Oh, Hi. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, I think I'm going to give up on the plan to uh, move farther to the east. There's just no point. Mm. Right. Maximum efficiency. My treasure is like warning me. You have only 17 left. <laughs> 17 copper coins. You have too few copper coins. <laughs> All right. That's probably it unless I can do more maneuvering here.
All right, Hansu might pay me a little bit more cash, maybe. Oh, he's so poor. How does he have so little on hand? I think I know what the next episode is going to be called for both of us. Oh, why did I accidentally... Uh, how did I accidentally click you? What is the episode going to be called? Something along the lines of war. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, I too can make a vassal, but... It'll be Ooh. pricey. Who is it? Way down south. Oh. Ooh. Has uh, Sheng Shan, I don't know if that's like the character of that faction, like the way to start out, but has he always Didn't been... Didn't they get destroyed? No, he's Wait, still what? there. In the like this the, all the way in the east and then just below the Han territory of Guang, Guangling. Anyway, like that faction, has that always been in the game? Because I don't recognize that flag, but I uh they're recent, I think, but okay. not not that recent, I think. Okay, because I yeah, I like their flag, but I don't recognize it. Alrighty. I might be firing some generals again. Eh, I'll keep them. I'm making exactly zero right now. Oh wow. Like on the dot. Which means I'm maxed out. Alright, let's enter. Get this war kicked off, I guess, technically. Oh, oh what's this? Uh, nobody, nobody wants something? Yeah, he wants to marry <laughs> Lady Fang to Tang. Let's cement this relationship with a marriage. <laughs> I mean, I can, I, when I annex, I'm just going to get that character anyway. He's willing to pay two grand for it, and then she will join me. She is not very happy in her his faction. Uh, she's also a coward. Um, No. Goodbye. Well, actually, I should have taken the two grand. Ah, I was off to next to her anyway. I wonder, actually, if she's one of my spot. No, she's not one of my spots. Oh, he just wants to go north, ah, this guy. Crap. Stop taking my food. Someone already has a scheme for that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I don't know if you know, I had like one. over tw I had like twenty five food saved up until he took my farm. See the thing is I so I I was talking to a, a friend of mine a while ago um, about that because I was like yeah when we eventually go to world is ruinous food but then he said well then you'll just use your Shimoka can you bugger off please okay good. Um, He'll, you'll just use your uh, champions to like increase the food and you'll probably be okay anyway so it's like yeah it kind of feels like a waste but I'm not sure it depends on how many like how many good schemes there actually are oh Hansui died that's probably why he had so little money he was dying as in his faction died sorry uh, Gongdu killed him he's yep. in my he's my pool oh man all these good, cool characters well I guess he's like 60 something years old he's my old. 55. All right. Well, anyway, I think this is it for now. Yeah. What a good place, place to end. Yeah. What a place to leave it. Yeah. And you can start 
coming in. I mean, you kind of see where the ambushes are because you get to see the I vision mean, of my place, which I don't understand why. But I see. Sure. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I saw like three of them just below the um, the Great Wall pin. Right. Right. So I know there's something I mean, there. Yeah, you're not gonna run there anyways, but. Am it's I better not? for me to leave them in ambush than leave them on the field. Because if you night battle them, you can just pick them off one by one. So I can't let you offensively yeah. attack me. So I have to keep them always in ambush, pretty much. The only thing is, I don't know if there's one between me and Luoyang, uh, the forest place. Yard. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. You can I don't go know. find out next time. Yeah, that's what that uh, <laughs> level one. That's what that level four. Um, Xiao Ruo guy is for. Oh, he's just gonna scout. He's gonna. That's he's not gonna, gonna work. That's mm, sure. Oh, I mm. guess. Yeah, you, I guess you don't have to do the ambush. You can just say no. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> but but but. Yeah. Give that a try. Anyway, um, I mean, I, I noticed like three of them there, and I can see you on Tan, and I can see you on Shang. So that's five of your armies. Now I know you had like two or three more probably, but they're I have thirteen. Thirteen. Yes, and they all have armies. Oh, Jesus. Well, I might just sit back and <laughs> let's see what happens, I guess. You're going to have a staring contest for five turns? Because I'm not moving them out of my capital. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe. It's just, like, I don't know. Because it, if that's not going to work... I'm, I mean, I'm also not going to purposely run into ambushes, right? Like, uh, yeah, that just wouldn't be good either. So, I don't go know. Go scout. Go scout. It's fine. I think the scouting is going to work. Because you're already... You're, I mean, you're already showing up, like... Uh, Yuan Shao technically is in ambush, but like that one got discovered, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try. I mean, we'll yeah. see if it works or not. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait until next time. Next time is going to be yep. a very short episode where we just end turn and turn and turn until the <laughs> turns are done. So I hope you guys are excited. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, until next time. All right. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye.